Have you ever experienced a moment when things seem to change way too suddenly? It's like a switch gets flipped and everything is different all at once. In the world of customer experience, the date was November 30th, 2022. That's the moment OpenAI released ChatGPT to the public. But wait, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's take a trip back to the mid 20th century when researchers were dreaming of creating machines that could think and reason like humans. They began by developing computer systems that perform tasks normally thought to require human intelligence, such as playing chess or solving complex problems. Though their efforts had limited success, they managed to set the foundation for future breakthroughs. Fast forward to the 80s and 90s when researchers were making strides in the development of technology that allowed computers to understand human speech and respond appropriately. This led to the creation of virtual assistants that could handle simple tasks and answer basic questions, but there was still a long way to go. In the early 2000s, recommendation engines were developed that analyzed customer data to make personalized product or service recommendations. E-commerce companies quickly jumped on this technology and it was credited with driving significant increases in revenue and customer engagement. But it wasn't until later in the decade that things really started escalating. With the rise of social media, customers became more vocal than ever before. They were sharing their opinions and experiences, both good and bad, with the world. Businesses had to respond to this new reality, and AI presented a perfect way to do that. Sentiment analysis software was created to analyze customer feedback and understand how customers felt about brands, products, and services. Since then, the use of AI in the customer experience industry has continued to evolve with each new development building upon the last. The potential for transformational change is enormous as businesses are able to create more personalized and seamless interactions with their customers than ever before. Which leads us to today. In the last two months, ChatGPT is already being used by more than 100 million people to improve their daily lives. Customer care centers are using GPT to radically transform customer interactions. AI is analyzing every customer emotion, finding exact answers to every customer question in real time, and we're just getting started. Thank you so much for being here today. We are kicking off an eight week series on AI and CX. Today we'll be talking about the basics. I've brought a very good friend of mine, Corey Goldbaum from CallZilla. She's a 10 year veteran in the AI and call center space. She's gonna unpack for us what AI is in terms of customer experience, tell us a little bit about a case study, and then talk to us about what she sees on the road ahead. So with no further ado, let's welcome Corey. Hi, Dennis. Thank you for having me. A little bit about me. I'm the head of marketing for CallZilla. We are a business process outsourcer. So we handle contact center services and automation for our clients. And I've been in the CX industry in a few different roles. Um, the front lines as a social media customer care agent. I managed our customer success processes. And now these last three years or so, I focus on automation, managing all of our automation projects and uh, making sure that businesses have customer insights that can provide a more personalized customer experience. It's so nice to have you here today, Corey. Thank you so much. Can you explain to us when we're talking about AI and customer experience, what are we really talking about? So AI or artificial intelligence, it's a set of technologies that enable computers to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. So things like recognizing patterns, suggesting products and services, um, learning from data. And in the customer experience space, we're not replacing all of our employees with robots, which is a typical misconception. We are automating those routine or tedious tasks like responding to initial customer inquiries or suggesting those products and services. And then we free up our agents to have more complex tasks. And we're also analyzing customer interactions in a way that gives us that more, those insights to build a more personalized customer experience. Thanks for that awesome example, Corey. 
In your line of business, do you have an example of a client maybe that you've been working with that you can share with our audience? Sure. So we actually have a consumer packaged goods client, a CPG client who is using speech analytics, and that analyzes customer interactions by taking a call recording, transforming it from speech to text, and then it pulls out keywords, patterns, customer tone of voice, so that we can have those valuable insights to tell us the customer's sentiment, their preferences, um, and everything we need to improve and enhance their customer experience. Wow, that's truly impressive. So what's the future hold for us when it comes to AI? Great question. So I think we'll continue to see more and more businesses adopting AI as it becomes more readily available and it can more easily integrate with the systems that we already have. And AI is also going to become a lot more proactive. So right now we're using post call and post chat uh, and analytics to inform our decisions and um, to help us with those personalized experiences moving forward. But in the future, and I know we're working with our speech analytics provider and our chatbot providers to provide real-time agent guidance that's really going to be a game changer. It's always nice to have guests like Corey come on the show and share their real-world expertise. Thank you, big thanks, Corey. Next week, we'll be talking about how to automate customer experiences using AI. I hope you'll be here for that show. Thanks for being here today. And until next time, have a great week.